I want to start talking about scaling your drawing. This is something that, I don't know, it's just really uh, seems subtle and complex and it's hard to get hold of for drafters. So I think we want to talk about scale multiple times starting now. This first slide here is just um, uh, for your reference. It just shows you what some of the common scales are that you might use for certain kinds of things. Uh, but you don't have to. I just include this to be helpful. The thing to remember about scale is that we always draw full size and we draw in model space. So if your building were 200 feet wide, in model space you draw a thing 200 feet wide. It's full size. And you don't scale anything down until you're ready to print, basically, which means you're going to paper space. And you use the viewport, that frame in your paper space, to, to do your scaling. That viewport is like a window. It's like a hole cut through your piece of paper into your model space. So you can reach through your paper into model space and do stuff. So first you open the viewport by double clicking inside or if you prefer you can go down to this tab at the bottom of your screen and click M model and you'll see the viewport frame light up or it'll be thicker to show that it's open. Then in this drop down or drop up list at the bottom of the screen with the numbers on it, you select one of these standard scales. So you can't just make it whatever scale happens to fit in your window. That's not cool. You're supposed to select one of these standard scales. And a, a way to think about it is think about these triangular architect scales and engineers scales. You want to use a scale that would work with one of those if somebody were using those. <laughs> so, so pick one of those and then immediately double click outside the viewport to close it or if you'd rather go down here and click on this tab and switch it back to paper again so that your viewport line is thin again. The reason for that is if you accidentally leave your viewport open then then even after you've set your scale you can accidentally pan and zoom and mess up the scale so just very next thing safeguard yourself by closing that viewport now the viewport scale whatever your viewport scale is the number on the bottom is called the drawing scale factor for example if you're scaling at 1 to 2 or 1 half, 1 to 2, your scale factor is 2. If you're scaling at 1 quarter or 1 over 4, your scale factor is 4, and so forth. And that drawing scale factor, you use multiple places. That's how you set the scale in your dimension style. That's how you set your line type scale so that the dashes will be the right length. That's how you set your leader scale. Theoretically, that's how you set your hatch scale, although I personally have trouble with that. So if your viewport scale is 1 to 2, your scale factor is 2. I wrote that at the bottom of this slide. If your scale factor is 1 to 4, sorry, if your viewport is 1 to 4, your scale factor is 4. Well, what about architectural drawings? If your scale is one inch equals a foot, that's a common scale. It's kind of a big scale, but you, you see it. If your scale is one inch to the foot, think about, okay, how many inches are there in a foot? There are 12 inches in one foot. So one inch equals one foot is the same as one to 12. And your drawing scale factor is 12. What if your viewport scale is a half an inch equals a foot? How do we figure out the drawing scale factor? Well, how many half inches 
are there in a foot? There are 24 half inches in a foot. There are 2 half inches per inch and 12 inches per foot. I'm going to show you that on the next slide. There are 24 half inches, so half inch to the foot is the same as 1 to 24, so your drawing scale factor would be 24. What if your scale were a quarter inch to the foot? What is your scale factor? How many quarter inches are there in a foot? There are 48 quarter inches in one foot. So a quarter inch to the foot is the same as 1 to 48, so your drawing scale factor is 48. Here's a picture of a scale, a 12 inch scale, and let's say your viewport scale is half an inch to the foot. Uh, let's think about, okay, how are there 24 half inches in the foot? I think of, and I don't know about you, but I kind of like to look at something visually. I even pick up a scale and look at the object. So here's one inch. There are two half inches in that one inch. Here's another inch. There are four half inches in those two inches. And I could even count one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. I would count 24 of those half inches in this 12 inch ruler. And you could do some math if you want. You could think, okay, two half inches in every inch. How many inches are there? 12 inches. So two half inches times 12 inches gives you 24. That's how we get to our scale factor is 24. And honestly, you it, it, it might seem just totally bonkers right now. That might not make a whole lot of sense. And all I can say is just keep wrestling with that. Keep working with it. Um, the more often you do these, the more familiar they will get. And eventually, believe it or not, this will get familiar. Line type scale is one of the things that uses the drawing scale factor. And line type scale is what makes your hidden lines and your center lines have dashes that are the right length. So think about it. If you go into model space with a building that's 200 feet long and you draw a hidden line where the dashes are an eighth of an inch long in model space, now you come out to paper space and you scale that thing well down, uh, way down, you're going to have little teeny tiny dashes so small you can't see them. So what do you do? Well, what you do is you type LT scale in the command line and then how big is your LT scale? Whatever your drawing scale factor is. So if you are making a drawing that's half an inch to the foot, where your drawing scale factor is 24, you would go, you would type LT scale 24, enter. And that will make your dashes longer in model space so that when you go into paper space, they're the right length. Now there's one other thing you need to know. Uh, because architects often put multiple viewports on one sheet, they often have a great big D size or E size sheet with a bunch of viewports and they're all different scales. So that's handy. S and they sometimes want different line type scales in different viewports. So AutoCAD gives you this setting it's called paper space LT scale or PSLT scale for short. And um, some architects want the dashes to be different lengths in different viewports. We don't want that. So we want to turn this thingy, this command off. And paper space LT scale is an on off switch. And you know, in the world of computers, in binary code, one is on and zero is off. 
So we turn this off by typing a zero. So we type PSLT scale zero enter. And then oftentimes nothing happens. And you go, oh great. What you do then is you type regen all. Not just regen, but regen all to tell it you want to regenerate all viewports. And lo and behold, your dashed lines will appear. It will make you happy when that happens, maybe. So just to review all this stuff that we just said about scale, you figure out the viewport scale you want to use in your layout, in your paper space. And that tells you the drawing scale factor. So if your viewport is half an inch to the foot, your drawing scale factor is 24. Then you go to the dimension style and you set the scale to 24. Also, by the way, you go to the leader scale and set its scale to 24. Then you type LT scale and you set LT scale to 24. Then you type PSLT scale and you set that to zero to turn it off. And then you type regen all. And I was using 24 as an example. So you might be entering a different number each time if your drawing is at a different scale. We'll keep coming back to this process, never fear. Uh, but I wanted to kind of give, let it wash over you this first time and begin to get it set.